everyone today i'm going to show you another way how to deal with your custom cursor if you saw my previous video you may notice that lots of people are struggling with their icons so the code may be correct but if your icon created uh, with let's say illustrator it won't be working just because um well illustrator creates some unnecessary layers that uh, for some reason makes problem so if you use figma or totally flat icons the code will be working but in other cases people just reach me out and ask for help and i thought that this is no good and probably i need to give you uh, another solution which will be working with any possible files no matter where you created them no matter what um a file it is like SVG or PNG or uh, whatever. So this code will be working for any icons. You will be able to control with size and the placement of uh, clickable part. So, okay, let's start. Here is my code pen and you will be able to find a link to this pen below my, this video. So before we move this code to Cargo Collective, let me explain you some important details. First of all, you need to copy only CSS part starting from this line. So do not copy anything above uh, line number 16. And also you need to copy JavaScript. Uh, you don't need HTML because I put it here just for creating this button. Uh, well, what else? Uh, you also uh, can change the size of your cursor here. This is how you change the width and the height of your cursor let me show you how it works so yeah okay and also you need to change this link if you don't know how to get this link and how to upload files to your cargo collective website uh, i'll show you this part a little bit later but don't forget to change it because i'm going to remove this link from my uh, website and you won't be able to use uh, it on your website okay uh, what's next let me show you some weird behavior which you also may need to fix when i enter this button nothing happens but when i move my cursor a little bit more you see that now the button is triggered so where exactly this trigger happens let me disable this part to show you a real cursor so this part is basically hiding um, the real cursor if you have any troubles with that you can just hide it as well so my cursor now is placed to the middle of my icon and that's why when uh, i'm moving i'm moving it like here nothing happens because it's not um it's not reaching the icon so how you can fix that this is property transform and you can change these values to control the position so let's see, I'm gonna change it to five and this one to 17. Okay, and now my cursor is placed to very left uh, part of my um, new cursor and let me disable the cursor again. So yeah, now I think this behavior is more logical and yeah, it feels better. So yeah, don't forget to control these values and to see how um, it affects your placement of your cursor you can uh, put commands for command you just need to use these symbols around the part which you want to disable uh, so yeah that's how you can check how it looks okay it seems like everything is ready and also uh, we need to add some uh, script tag for javascript but let's start with css just gonna copy this thing and put it here so uh, if you don't know how to open your css panel you go here you open css editor and you can paste your css nothing happens yet because yeah nothing uh, is working yet okay then go back copy your javascript and before copying it, uh, pasting it you need to open tag script and close this tag Okay, and then uh, you need to paste your code here. And after that, click save and refresh your page. And okay, now you see your cursor, you can use it and it won't be any overlapping issue. Uh, but let me show you how to upload your icons in case you don't know. So you go to any page you want and click this file icon 
and then you can upload any file from your computer and uh, if you have here is the files which are already uploaded and then you can click on this file and you will get the link which you need for creating your custom cursor so that's it thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tutorials about cargo collective and let me know if this video was useful and also if you have any troubles working with it uh, i'll try to help you goodbye